Hello and welcome to April's Diabetes Technology Report. In this video I'll get you up to speed on everything that happened in the diabetes tech world over the last month. Let's start with some Dexcom G6 UK news, uh, which is now available uh, and approved to be used on your upper arm and also during pregnancy. It makes sense they are both launched at the same time because um, I don't think it's the best idea to wear a CGM on your abdomen during pregnancy. It's great to see those two updates. Uh, with the back of the arm, I remember when I started using Dexcom G6, um, back in the day, uh, it was a long, long, long time ago, um, my first couple of sentences, I wore them on my arm uh, because that was the place I was familiar with. But uh, since that time, I've always been wearing them on my abdomen. Um, and that's been my favorite spot by far. I actually tried it on my arm this month when it was approved um, to see if I might switch to that location. Uh, and um, no, for me, it's definitely the abdomen, but I do like my pod on my arm. It's great to see those two updates in the UK. Um, both of those are expected to be rolled out across Europe um, in the very near future because the CMAC um, approval applies to uh, the whole of Europe and the UK. Um, now let's quickly talk about G7, the next gen um, Dexcom CGM. A um, couple of days ago, Dexcom had its investors call for Q1 of 2020 and um, they uh, mentioned that they are expecting G7 launch to be delayed by approximately six months. This is due to massive disruptions to clinical trials because of COVID-19 lockdown. Subject to change, but the new predicted timeline for G7 is middle of 2021 for US, um, obviously naturally subject to change. So more Dexcom news, uh, Clarity has been refreshed with an all new design. Um, the up update to Clarity has been rolled out across many regions over the last couple of weeks and will be over the next couple of weeks. Um, so depending on where you are, you might have had your update before or you might have it in the following weeks. You can enable notifications in days where you reached your time and range goal. Next, very quick Eversense update. Um, Eversense Excel in Europe has been approved to be used during an MRI scan. Um, so uh, the implantable sensor doesn't need to be uh, removed before an MRI scan. You can wear it um, inside you during the scan. And lastly, some COVID-19 um, news. Inchlet and Dexcom have both joined um, Inchlet manufacturers in offering uh, patient access programs uh, due to the COVID-19 um, pandemic. Uh, if you want to learn more about um, availability and um, more about those programs, links to all will be available in the video description. So that's basically that uh, when it comes to tech news. Um, now, um, I've been working on a, a really cool uh, video recently. Um, something that I wanted to do for a really, really, really long time. And something that has been so highly requested. Um, a video on how to pick an insulin pump. This is not a medical advice. Um, just a video kind of going through the journey and kind of the steps that I go through when, uh, when, when deciding on what to choose and how I do my research, that kind of stuff. Um, so stay tuned for that because that should be coming out very, very shortly after you're watching this video. Um, and yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Also in the comments, I'm gonna put some of my all time favorite classic jokes, something that I've started doing on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. Uh, because I post some old school jokes, um, you know, doing throwback jokes, and um, I think they're quite funny. Um, so, a shameless plug follow me on Instagram at Nerdbetic. Um, I'm gonna give you just one joke, uh, and then you need to go to the comments to see the rest of it. Uh, my joke um, that I'm gonna pick is um, a, a sandwich walks into a bar and. <laughs> The barman says, sorry, we don't serve food here. <laughs> I can't even talk it straight. <laughs> yeah, so that's the joke. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, let me know uh, how you're doing in the video uh, the comments. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're doing well. And um, yeah, I will see you shortly. Stay safe. All the best. Bye-bye.